base method and you can you don't need to define here the define declining balance method so uh, but i still uh, show you uh, here so the define declining balance is actually applicable for us is a standard one which is a zero zero one so i'm not uh, going to explain this much this is more applicable when you have any uh, factoring or percentages uh, while using the depreciation so um, yeah if you want more uh, information on how to use this uh, uh, you can see uh, reducing balance method or diminishing method or if you have any specific questions relating to this uh, um, declining balance or further steps uh, step method or anything uh, you please let me know in my in your comments or you know, by reaching uh, reaching me via messaging to me so um, you can also um, uh, my recommendation you can you can you know, always uh, contact me uh, at uh, if you have any specific uh, requirements or, or trainings i always recommend to say contact us at So this is our email, and if you need any trainings, a special trainings, then trainings. So you can reach to me, or else you can directly reach to me. SAP training nine eight zero at gmail. So yeah, so let me know if you um, if you have any questions specifically uh, regarding the trainings or any uh, uh, support needed. And uh, yes, you can still contact me. So I will try to support you guys. And uh, yeah, thank you. So I'm not explaining much here on the uh, declining balance uh, method here. So um, yeah, so now I'm going back. And then this maximum amount method is a different type of method of depreciation. So now I'm going into the multi-level method. So when we go here, multi-level method. So um, I'm going to uh, copy the existing one, which is a UNI, UNT, and I will explain. Um, so this is what I created. So I'm going to copy this uh, and then PRD. So the ordinary depreciation start date uh, you can put as this date and click enter then system will show how many dependents are copied click OK. So now if you go into the level here so you can see here this is where exactly and um, if you look into the drop down. So how this is going to impact based on our previous settings on the base method so you have to be very clear while you are using the base method here so since um, when we are doing a mathematical I think if you guys are familiar with the mathematics then you know why we are using this because we are using this netbook value with proportional value adjustments because in the base method you mentioned the total unit over remaining number of units so let's say as uh, in our business example you have 120,000 units per annum which is a total but uh, when we are calculating on the following month the 2000 must be reduced uh, and also we are taking a net book value after depreciating this amount so you, you cannot directly take the acquisition value or a replacement value which is mentioned here in this case because you are using a remaining um, um, you know units method so you can't use these so some cases yes you can use so um, in our case the correct one we are using which is here and then keep that one is here so when you see here you can see 999 and so this is a let's say uh, usually we follow this for every depreciation peak so let's say 
you want to use the same depreciation fee for and 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 change uh, uh, for, from the particular year then you can add another line but when you are doing in the production system or or in the development moving the changes uh, you have to be very careful when you're changing anything under multi-level method so don't simply change without analyzing so you will you will i will if you do those changes uh, for sure you will end up with uh, some issues so while changing anything a depreciation key uh, is analyzed this depreciation key is used for how many assets what is the change is requested by the business and uh, clearly analyze before you are implementing changes to the existing depreciation key my recommendation when you are doing this always you copy the existing depreciation key and do some modifications test it thoroughly and then yes you adopt the changes then yes you can you can always uh, do these kind of changes so um yeah hope um this helps so this is where exactly we are using this base value method so this is where the system is going to consider the amounts so now we created this and then click save okay so now we are done our second step for preparing the multi-level method thank you guys